So this is my rework station, Ashi IR6500. This model has a tempered glass on the bottom. The previous one didn't have. Uh, it was this actually is a, a bad idea, and I will explain you why. This uh, glass firstly absorbs the heat that comes from the bottom, and then rises the heat from the bottom to the your PCB. Sometimes this doesn't help. Well, actually. I didn't have it didn't have any help from having this so when you put your temperature here you'll need to compensate for the glass and for the board thickness this is a help so the best way is to remove your heater your I mean your glass and rise the bottom heater this is lower than what is here and I will explain you what I did first I remove the top heater I even screwed all these eight screws around be careful because there's another screw here and another here you don't need to remove the front plate there is no need for it and then you lift it while you lift it you have to be aware that there's a, a two wires that connect this lamp so what I did for future modifications I cut it and then I added a connector and I I will show you here's the connector and below there's the other part of the connector then I removed all these four screws which I'm going to simulate here and then I took out this bottom heater be aware that you have also to disassemble it from below in order to remove these thicker um, wires that connect to the heater after you have removed it there's also a thermocouple in my case is here your thermo this thermocouple it's glued here with this adhesive so remove it I had it and when I took a look at it, it was all unglued and it wasn't actually reading anything from the heater. And I did a better hack on this. So after you removed it, you lift it and you have to disassemble the resistor, the heating resistor from the base. And how you do this? You see this part over here? I don't know if my camera just flipped. Okay. You see this part? You have to slide it in order to remove it. And then you remove everything and you will just end up with this metal plate. After you have this metal plate, there are um, fiber... Um, how do I say? Fiber fabric, I don't know the name of it, below of it. Don't take it out, save it. I just removed it from the size. I didn't want to size it, doesn't matter too much. Uh, but the bottom, leave it. And then with a drill press, you have to make a hole on below, close to the center. You can make a hole here or here, and then tape it. Just tape it because you don't want it to move around. And inside, I've I've made a hole with um, the fiberglass fabric. Uh, inside my thermocouple, I put it like this and then I bend it so it's touching the bottom of the resistors is always reading and it doesn't go away from there don't put all the um, the thermocouple inside of it just put the tip and bend it you don't want the inside because this will from time will start to um, deteriorate and you don't want that you want to save it as much as possible so just the tip and um, bend it to, so to rise it I use this nuts I put it one in each corner then I put it on top of it you have to search for better you can also uh, have more than one until you get the perfect uh, size then you put the nuts and then you screw the screws back on to remove the glass, the glass was actually inside of this. There are a lot of um, metal uh, involved, 
what I did, sorry, what I did was metal and fiber fabric glass, fiber glass, fabric fiber glass. I mean, what I did was I removed everything so I could remove the glass itself, and after that I still had this one. It, it works as a radiator, so it doesn't hit all the machine, but actually there is not a need. Um, it is better if you leave this the top because it looks better and also it doesn't influence it anything because the bottom heater actually goes all the way here and this is how I've done it it's a, he a easy hack and your board will heat uh, preheat faster than having this glass you can still use it so once you are using it, for example, you can put a BGA on top for reballing, and the, the um, it, it will be faster. Uh, but it's not a need. You can throw it away if you want to. Okay, this is my quick tip, and in future I will uh, give you more tips on how to use this and how to reball and how to reflow. Okay, if you like this video, please share, like, and subscribe. Have a nice day.